What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, everybody, man. What's going on, fellas? I'm Titan Anderson. You cannot spell Titans without putting that T A in it. We're going basic blue today, nothing crazy. And we brought out the blue monster. We're going to crack this open for you guys. Woo! Football's back. Lions beat the, uh, the Chiefs. Um, I'm not really going to talk about that, but I'm going to say something about it real quick. Um, when, the, when the Lions were getting ready to finish the game off, my wife looked at me and told me, she's like, didn't you say the Lions were going to be really good this year? <laughs> and I just looked at her and smiled. I didn't say anything back. Um, you, you can kind of see, like last year, ever since they picked up that head coach and shit, you see the players that they picked up. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson looks like a superstar, like literally unguardable or unblockable. Um, Gibbs, and, and that's another thing also, is I actually... Um, I actually think that Gibbs, Jameer Gibbs, um, is, um, a, I think he's better, um, and more, uh, is going to be a better, um, running back in the NFL than B. John Robinson. Everyone was killing me for that. It's just what I, what I saw. Uh, B. John looks like a great running back. I just, what I saw in Gibbs was somebody who is, um, he needs to be on the field and the Lions are, haven't done that as much yet, but you can clearly see. Um, he was, he averaged like six yards a carry and then that, uh, was it Montgomery or I can't remember who the other guy was. He averaged like 3.3 .3 or 3.5, some shit like that. So, you know, and then they don't even have Jamison Williams back. That dude runs four two. So it's like, like they're going to, that's what I was trying to explain to people. And I don't talk about it much, but like when I, when I scout all these players coming out of college, when I look at all these other teams, you can kind of see, um, you can kind of see certain things. And, and a lot of the guys that they drafted, I, I think Jared Goff is terrible. I think he's terrible. For some reason, he, he, um, you know, it looked like he was gonna go out of the league, and then, and then out of nowhere, he, he starts turning into like the next Kirk Cousins, just because, like, winning, you know, win games, but they're not really that good, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that real quick about that game. Um, the, um, I, um, I actually, I didn't know who was gonna win the game. I just knew that the like I wasn't going to be shocked if the Lions won that game. Uh, Lions are a team that I actually uh, picked to win that division, um, and, and only because, like I said, I just don't trust Kirk Cousins. So I think that um, I think the Lions are going to be really good this year with with um, with uh, the Vikings, you know, competing. I think it's going to be those two competing for that division this year. Um, a lot of people think Fields. I don't even think Fields is that good. Everyone keeps blowing him up like he's so great. The dude has lost so many games. He hasn't proven he can throw that well outside the numbers. Everyone likes to bring up, um, you know, the game that he had, uh, the, the, the game that he had against us. They were all fucking screen passes and little handoffs and that type of shit. There was nothing through the air that dominated the Titans, nothing at all. So, um, miscon misconception there. Um, you know, and then Green Bay, you know, who knows how good they'll be. I just don't think they'll be very good. Um, that being said, the Tennessee Titans, the Tennessee Titans have the New Orleans Saints. Tennessee Titans have the New Orleans Saints. Derek Carr, first year. You know, they got Williams as the, the running back with no Kamara. Um, I just don't think we're going to have a problem. I just don't. How? No Kamara. Kamara, Kamara. It's funny, you hear so many people say his name differently. I gotta figure out what's the correct way. I remember when he first got drafted, I said Kamara. And then I heard a lot of people and analysts and media guys say Kamara. So, uh, I don't think it really matters. Um, we got our hands full, fellas. That defense is gonna be a problem. Uh, led by Cameron Jordan, obviously. A dude's a fucking... Just a... If you don't know who Cameron Jordan is, you don't really know football. I'm just gonna put it like that. Um, we're gonna have our hands full. We're gonna have to really get get things going um you know this would be a good game to really come out and get a victory it'd be a really good game to come out and get a victory in the um the the tennessee titans um we uh obviously it's not really how you start it's how you finish i mean the chiefs just lost it doesn't really matter because there's so many games 17 games now you know what i mean so but it'd be nice to come out and get a victory um on the road um, you know, I know the, it's, you know, it's the first game, so, you know, both teams are probably going to be a little shaky, but I just want to see the Titans come out and, 
and and do what they do best you know what i'm saying run the ball play action play good defense you know and i and i, I really want to see the play calling look a little different i think today or not today uh on um on sunday we're going to be able to see uh tim kelly's approach we'll see if he if he comes out and just tries to run it up the middle with one zero or one receivers out there i hope we don't see that shit I hope we see formations with Ty J and Derrick Henry in it in at the same time. Um, I hope we see uh, you know you know um, Ryan Tannehill uh, doing what he says he was going to do. If he sees uh, you know if he sees a one on one ball, 50-50, no safety help, nothing like that. You got to give Traylon Burks and DeAndre Hopkins an opportunity to make a play. You have to. And one thing that people fail to recognize or at least give uh you know credit to where it's due is ryan Tannehill can make every single throw on the football field he's proven that he's proven that he can throw 70 yards down the field he can throw on the run he can throw from the pocket he can throw he can do any type of throw you need him to do but you need him to stay up you need him to stay up you gotta block better and the blocking like we already went into that many times brand new offensive line Brewer gained 25 pounds, moved to center like that, and, he, and he's a captain. So shout out to uh, Aaron Brewer for for putting in the work and earning the center spot. That being said, man, again, uh, this battle could be one up up front. Um, it could be a really crazy um, um, kind of goofball style game in the beginning. You know, it's the first game. You know, a lot of new players, a lot of new faces. Team chemistry is not really where it should be or will it will where it will be mid-season and beyond um but that being said i hope the titans get off to a great quick start i really do the titans are gonna have to um the titans are really gonna have to come out there and limit the turnovers uh that you know from ourselves we cannot shoot ourselves in the foot and and, and expect to beat anybody um so i think as long as we we trust our defense punt the ball um uh, only kick field goals when we really really need to um, you know, do what we need to do to win. Play Titans football. And I think it's going to be very hard to beat the Tennessee Titans this year. Our defense is stout. We're good everywhere. Um, our pass rush is just going to make everyone else around us better because of the fact they're, they're, they're going to be so good. Um, I'm expecting this, this unit to have, uh, to finish top five in sacks, top five in total defense, everything. Like, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that. I'm expecting the corners to up their interceptions uh, and DBs in general, safeties and everything, because of the fact the pass rush is going to be that lethal. I'm expecting Derek Carr to go down five times. I want Derek Carr to go down five times. Hopefully more. I just think that it's gonna. We're gonna bring too much. It's just gonna be too much. It's gonna. The, the defense is gonna be too much for Derek Carr. Derek Carr is arguably the worst quarterback when pressure's on his ass. Arguably. You go watch his Raider highlights. When he's able to stand in the pocket, he'll eat you alive. But anytime somebody just touches him on the shoulder pad, woo, he starts getting scared. He don't like he don't like feeling the floor. So Titan Nation, I ask you this and this alone. Do we have enough to take care of Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints? Can we get it done week one? We're a few days away. We're right there. A couple days got this we got this sunday's right there icy whites we're gonna be decked out full white baby it's our time let's go make a statement and it sucks that the statement has to happen against you little golden fucker saints it's time it's time to let everybody know and remind everybody titans ain't going nowhere we still have Derrick Henry, the best player in football. He's going to silence all the doubters again. Now that he has help, we brought in a guy named Ty J. Spears. We brought in a guy named D. Hop, DeAndre Hopkins. Traylon Burks, healthy. We drafted a 6'7 tight end that hopefully can catch. <laughs> the offense is rebuilt, fellas. The Saints are in trouble. Tennessee Titans are ready to make that statement. I got Titans winning 27 to 14. I hope it's worse than that. I hope we beat the shit out of them. I hope we let the whole world know. I hope we let everybody know. We're here. We ain't going nowhere. 
It's our time. People can talk about everyone else they want. That's fine, let them. We'll slide under the radar, we always do. Because it's not like we suck. It's not like that. We have Derrick Henry, an offensive line that's going to surprise people, a quarterback who's capable and has won a lot of games, a lot of games, mind you, and a Super Bowl caliber defense. With the best punter on God's green earth, baby. Titans win 27-14. Let's go. Wah!